Welcome to this screencast. Get started with Red Hat JBoss Enterprise Application Platform 7. My name is Thomas Kvarnström and I work as a JBoss Technology Evangelist at Red Hat. And I'm going to guide you through the installation and setup for a development environment using JBoss EAP. But first, let's, get, get, let's look at some of the benefits with JBoss EAP. JBoss EAP is fully compliant with the latest Java EE 7 standard that has a lot of great benefits. It boasts developer productivity and it produces less boilerplate code and configuration. JBoss EAP 7 is very lean and fast. It will automatically adopt to your application's needs and it also adopts to the resources available by your infrastructure. JBoss EAP will generally start and deploy your applications within seconds. JBoss EAP 7 is also very flexible and can easily run on everything from small devices like Raspberry Pis to big mainframes. But it's not only the technology that is flexible. JBoss EAP 7 is fully open source and are free to use for development purposes. For production usage the subscriptions are free to move from old to new hardware or from your own data centers to the cloud. These are some of the reasons why JBoss EAP is the most popular open source Java EE compliant application server in the market today. Now let's move on and see how you can download and install JBoss EAP 7. Start by pointing your browser to developers.reda.com. This is a great resource for information for developers that want to learn more about developing using Red Hat or other open source products and frameworks. From the home page we are going to choose technologies from the menu and click on Red Hat JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. And since we want to get started with development we are going to select Get Started. Here we are presented with a simplified step-by-step -step guide that includes the steps a developer typically takes to set up a development environment. For more details on each step please see the Getting Started guide in the documentation. As you will see, setting up JBoss EAP is actually very easy. First step is to make sure that we have version 8 of Java Development Kit installed. Next step is to download both the development tools, like an IDE and, an app and the application server itself. Luckily, Red Hat provides a package that contains the most common tools and JBoss EAP in a single package called JBoss Developer Studio with JBoss EAP. To download this package you will have to be registered as a Red Hat developer. If you are already registered you can log in, otherwise go through the registration steps. After that the download will start automatically. When the download has finished we can move on to the third step, which is to run the installer. Here it differs a bit depending on your environment. If you are using Mac or Windows, and have a Java development kit installed, you should be able to right click on the file and select Open with Jar Launcher. If you're using Linux or right, uh, or right click doesn't work, you can start the installer by executing Java minus Jar and point to the downloaded Jar file like this. This will start the installation wizard and all we have to do is to follow the instructions. First we accept the EULA and then we select the target folder, also which Java virtual machine to use, and we check yes to install JBoss EAP. Finally we review the summary and the installation starts. When the installation is done, JBoss Developer Studio will automatically start for the first time. When JBoss Developer Studio is up and running, we can we can use one of the one of more than 80 quick starts to get started with our project. So I'm going to use Hello World here. 
So we select hello world we, and that will start, trigger download of that quick start and create that project. After a while, when, when, when everything is ready, we have a working project here. And to deploy the project, all we need to do is to start the server. And we do that by selecting the server in the server tab and clicking on the on the start button. That would it would start in a couple of seconds. It will start the Gables Developer Studio, start Gables EAP. And then we can uh, click on the on the project. We can select run, run, and then run on server. This will automatically deploy the Maven project onto JBoss EP7. When and to summarize, in in less than five minutes, we can actually get up and running with a full fully working development environment using the JBoss Developer Studio with EAP package. Uh, thank you for watching this screencast. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.